So uh, let's get to the news. I know I was been supposed to get to the news, but that snake took me for a loop. Speaking of snakes, Jay Z's in the news. <laughs> That was a guy there. A great segue into snakes. Jay-Z. Well, uh, Live Nation, if y'all heard, is being sued. For what? For what I told y'all before. Monopolizing all the venues. So all the artists got to come through them. All the promoters got to come through them just to perform. And that, my man, is illegal. Matter of fact, let me pull up the news article so I can tell you why it's illegal. Darius Harvey in the building, choke no joke, original choke no jokester. The Department of Justice sued Live Nation. Accused of violating antitrust laws, Live Nation Entertainment face, faces uh lots of leaves falling back there. All right, hold on. Accused of violating antitrust laws, Live Nation Entertainment faces a fight that could reshape the multi billion dollar live music industry. Thank you. The Justice Department sued the concert giant, which owns Ticketmaster, calling for the company to be broken up due to the claims that. It maintained a monopoly in the live entertainment industry. Which is a fact, right? How many of y'all remember when I did that show? Uh, when Kanye was, was crying, uh, saying that he couldn't get final venues to do a concert. What's up, little buddy? Don't run. I ain't going to do nothing to you. Right? Who remember that? Right? I did a show. Kanye was out here crying, saying that he couldn't get no venues. No venues was booking. And I did a show and I told y'all the reason why I got them Kanye couldn't get no venues is because Live Nation monopolized all the venues, not only in America, in other countries as well. And then they brought up Ticketmaster. So you got to go through them. Right? I remember I told you that, and I was like, that's Jay-Z blocking Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Kanye talking about Jay-Z can be controlled and Beyonce could be controlled. And now he's one of the biggest artists when it comes to doing shows. And Kanye can't get no fucking venue? Kanye West? What did I tell y'all? That was Jay-Z blocking him because of goddamn Jay-Z got the connection to Live Nation. Live Nation owns Rock Nation. They own 50% of uh, Rock Nation. Probably 51% if they smart. But they own half of Rock, Live Nation, and then they own Jay-Z. Jay-Z's in the 360 deal with Live Nation. So Jay-Z's job was to sign up the artists and make them niggas go through Rock Nation so they could perform and do shows. This is why everybody was giving in to that nigga because they know they couldn't get no shows unless they uh, unless they got a deal with Live Nation. So what Live Jay-Z became was the, the conduit, conduit, the bridge to the urban and hip hop community. So if everybody got on, got down with Jay, you was going on tour. If you didn't get down with Jay, 
your ass wasn't going on tour. You couldn't even get no shows. It was hard. You know what I'm saying? So by Live Nation signing him, he that's why with the Rock Nation was a brunch, brunch was about. Niggas coming up there to suck Jay off so and sign to him so they could go on tour. This is why all them niggas, Fat Joe, all them niggas, they had to give in to that nigga. So they could get so they could eat. Now what's gonna happen is them niggas ain't gonna have that control no more. And if Live Nation take a big hit, they not going to sign Jay again for another $200 million for 10 years. Jay-Z going to be out here on his own. He ain't going to have Live Nation funding. And y'all going to see him go from a billionaire down to a hundred and some thousand. I mean, hundred and some million, just like Kanye, just like Diddy. I told y'all niggas, Kanye was no fucking billionaire, bro. I told y'all that. Y'all said that. Oh, Chuck, you just hating. You just hating. I told y'all Jay-Z wasn't no billionaire. Chuck, you just hating. Well, you're going to find out in a minute. Soon as Live Nation lose this, this uh, joint, because they definitely lose it. And if you're a promoter, you need to contact the DOJ and see if y'all can get in on this, uh, this lawsuit. Make it a class action lawsuit. All you promoters out there, Independent promoters, promotion companies that couldn't book venues because Live Nation had it. Y'all better put y'all lawsuits in with the DOJ. Y'all going to get paid. I'm telling you. What they did was illegal. All those venues you couldn't do because they say, oh, you got to call Live Nation because we got to deal with Live Nation. Put your lawsuit in now. Sue them people. And Jay-Z told you, yo, Yo, for you to go on tour with us, you got to sign with us. Get your lawyer. Get your lawyer. All promoters, y'all better jump on this lawsuit on Live Nation. If venues was telling you, yo, you got to go through Live Nation, y'all better to get y'all goddamn lawyers and get in on it. Y'all going to get paid. I'm telling you, don't miss the boat. I'm giving you some real game here. Some real game. Now that's a million dollars worth of game. Because this is going to be a multi-million dollar settlement. Watch. The Justice Department on Thursday sued Live Nation Entertainment, the concert giant that owns Ticketmask and asking... A court to break up the company over claims it illegally maintained a monopoly in the live entertainment industry. Now, if I was able to see that and talk about it, I wonder if Kanye saw my show and went and complained to some people. Hey, promoters. Promoters, y'all better listen to this part. In the lawsuit, which is joined by 29 states. 29 states. And the District of Columbia. The government accuses Live Nation of leveraging its sprawling empire to dominate the industry by locking venues into exclusive ticketing contracts, pressuring artists to use his services, what I told y'all. Pressuring artists to use their services. If Jay-Z pressured you to get to Live Nation so, so you could go on tour, get your lawyer now. Sue that big lip wig wearing nigga. Pressuring artists to use his services and threatening his rivals with financial retribution. Oh, these niggas is gangsters. They gangsters over at Live Nation. Yeah, we we know. And you think Live Nation gonna say, oh, that was us? 
I bet you some of them allegations is coming from Rock Nation, allegedly. Watch. Those tactics the government argues have resulted in higher ticket prices for consumers and have stifled innovation and competition throughout the industry. The suit asks the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. We back at the Southern District of New York. Oh, they coming for you, Jay. Southern District of New York to order the diversion of at minimum Ticketmaster and to prevent Live Nation from engaging in anti-competitive practices. It is time for fans and artists to stop paying the price for Live Nation's monopoly. Merrick B. Garland, the Attorney General, said on Thursday, it's time to break up Live Nation, Ticketmaster. The American people are ready for it. The suit is a part of a broader push by American regulators to rein in corporate might in, uh, in corporate, let me make that bigger. Corporate might in, in the internet age testing century old antitrust laws against big companies, power over consumers. The Justice Department has sued Apple. The Department, Just, uh, the Department of Justice has sued Apple and brought two cases against Google while the federal trade. Commission has brought antitrust suits against Amazon and Meta. The Justice Department's latest lawsuit is a direct challenge to the business of Live Nation, a colossal, a colossal, a colossus of, of the entertainment industry and a force in the lives of musicians and fans alike. The case filed 14 years after the government approved Live Nation's merger with Ticketmaster has the potential to transform the multi-billion dollar concert industry. Live Nation's scale and reach far exceed those of any competitor in comparison concert, promotion, ticketing, artists, management, and the operations of hundreds of venues and festivals around the world. Like I said, around the world, not just in America. Live Nation has its tentacles and virtuality, every aspect of the live entertainment industry. The government say it's in complaint, which runs more than 120 pages. According to the Justice Department, Live Nation controls around 60% Sixty percent promotions at major venues around the United States, and roughly eighty percent of primarily ticketing at major concert venues. Lawmakers, fans, and competitors have accused the company of engaging in practices that harm rivals and drive up ticket prices and fees. At a congressional hearing early last year prompt by Taylor Swift tour pre-sale on Ticketmaster that left millions of people unable to buy tickets. Senators from both parties call Live Nation a monopoly. In this complaint, the Justice Department refers to the many, to many add-on fees as essentially a Ticketmaster tax that ultimately raised the price fans pay and raise the price fans pay. In response to the lawsuit, Live Nation has denied that it was a monopoly and said that breaking it up would not result in lower ticket prices or fees. According to the company, artists and sports teams are primarily responsible for setting ticket prices and other business partners like venues take the lion's share of the surcharges. In the statement, Dan Wall, Live Nation's Executive Vice President of Corporate and Regularity Affairs 
said that the Justice Department sued, followed intense political pressure. The government case, Mr. Wall added, ignores everything that is actually responsible for higher ticket prices from increasing production costs to artist popularity, 24 seven online ticket scalping that reveals the public's willingness to pay far more than primary ticket costs. They asses in trouble. They know they monopolized in that shit. They can sit there and uh, play stupid all they want. They asses is cooked. I'm telling you, once they, once they uh they get deep into this case and artists start coming out and complaining, if they try to say they wasn't doing that, and artists start complaining and saying, oh, they made us do this and they made us do that, it's going to get ugly. Because I, I bet you Rock Nation is tied up in this shit too. It ain't just Live Nation booking all these artists. Live Nation's a part, of, Rock Nation's a part of Live Nation. It's gonna get crazy, watch. Pandora's box is open. Oh boy. Watch Kanye. You're gonna see Kanye gonna say something about it in a minute. Watch. Give him a minute. Kanye gonna speak on this. I bet you. Hold on, let me grab my water. Rock Nation about to be over. Them niggas ain't gonna have that money to, to fund all that shit. You gonna see them, they gonna about start laying off in a minute. As soon as they, they get this lawsuit go through. Jay-Z about to go on tour. They need some money. I guarantee you that nigga about to go on tour. It's about to get rough over there. Beyonce gonna be uh, calling around to her girlfriends in the hood trying to get food, buy their food stamps off of them. She got too many mouths to feed over there. She gonna be like, girl, you got any more food stamps? Let me buy your food stamps. I'll give you an autographed CD for $200 in food stamps. 